Hey, Austin Floyd here, agency owner and data-driven marketer. And in this video, I wanna make sure that you understand how to actually track Facebook and Google ads using dynamic UTMs generated by Facebook and Google. And if you haven't already, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future. One of the most frustrating things is not being able to track what is going on with Facebook ads. And so one of the things that we always like to make sure is in place everywhere is that we have a UTM structure that truly is dynamic and allows us to track across the various mediums so we can see what is going on with each individual campaign, ad set, medium, and the ad level itself. So I'm gonna hop over to the computer and I'm gonna walk you through kind of how the structure works, where you should actually put it on Facebook, where you should put it on Google, and how that all leads to tracking success. Okay, so let's dive into these dynamic UTMs and what you could be using. And this is a little optimization and rules checklist that I use a lot. So I'm gonna actually gonna give you this whole thing. Uh, I'm just gonna put it in the comments below. It's just got a few different tests and a few different rules that you can automatically trigger in Facebook. But what we're really looking at right here is this dynamic UTM. So Facebook has the ability to dynamically pull the campaign name, the ad set name, and the ad name. And so for Facebook, I always like to go with a UTM that is gonna be dynamic so that we can actually track exactly what we're looking for. And I'm gonna show you in Google Analytics in a minute how you can actually see where these are coming through. So now that you have this, and again, this is in the, the Google Sheet that is attached, you can go into Facebook ads and all you do is add it down here. Now, when you have the URL parameters added down here, again, in the previous video where I talked about bulk editing, you can bulk edit all of your UTMs if you decide to change anything. We like to use Facebook, IG, and audience network just so we know actually where these people are coming from and that we're using most likely the auto placement. But again, you could just use Facebook for the medium. That will always work and that will actually show up better in Google Analytics. So in Facebook, again, right here is where you're going to drop the URL parameters. Every time you duplicate an ad, it will keep the URL parameters. Now, if you change the format of the ad, it will get rid of it. So make sure that this is always on. You can always build the actual UTM right here and this will allow you to put in the dynamic. And so this is actually where I generated that UTM. Um, but that is all you need for Facebook UTMs. For AdWords UTMs, you're gonna come down to settings globally and under tracking, you can add your tracking template. So I have attached a sample one that we use, again, a dynamic one where it's going to pull exactly what you need into, the ad, into Google Analytics. So all we do is copy this, come over here, add the tracking template, and boom, you're good to go. It is that easy to track the UTMs in each campaign. And so now if we're in Google Analytics and we want to see what has actually been going on, we're gonna come into acquisition, all traffic, and click source medium. And so this is where you're gonna actually be able to see the UTMs reflected within your Google Analytics. And so once you do, and you come down, you'll start to see, oh, Facebook, IG, AN, boom, already there. And so while it doesn't ever report fully because this is last click attribution, this is something that can dramatically help you make sure that you are tracking at least how many people are coming to your site and what last click actually looks like. And so that's it. That is how you can make sure to track effectively with UTMs on Facebook and Google ads. If this video helped you in any way, make sure to drop below what you're tracking, how it's been working for you. Otherwise, make sure to press the subscribe button so you get notified when videos just like this come out in the future.